Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review on Transformers Armada Cyclonus. And let's look at the box. Cyclonus from the Armada line. Alright, these are not very descript boxes, I'm not going to lie. So let's go to the back. You got the everybody's favorite Hot Shot Demolisher. I did a review on Demolisher already. It uh, comes with crumple zone and I wish the colors were that vibrant. <laughs> There's Cyclonus. Yeah, he is that big of a mess. I have him in his alt alt mode. And he does have the mini con power links gimmick and came out what 2002. Yippee Kaye. Also comes with instructions, a little sticker sheet, which I like. I wish it was as cool the anime or this was as cool the. The figure was as cool as the anime with Hot Shot. There's Cyclonus, so there's our motto. I'm a big fan of Optimus Prime, and you've seen this before, so I'm not going to go too much in depth. Yep, Crumple Zone Armada, Laser Beak, I remember that. There's Cyclonus. Yeah, yeah I'm already signed, so <laughs> hopefully that's called foreshadowing. I want to get this Red Alert guy, Megatron. Starscream, did a review on that. And Armada Prime. Awesome. Let's look at the figure, which, as I already mentioned, is a big mess. If you want to call this an Apache Apache type helicopter, you can. The Minicon's lodged in front here, so it's a neat little gimmick over here. I just have to have it on here so you can see this. Yeah, see, this is the little front canopy. You can tell the dude's legs. Also, uh, the arms, not very creative. Paint apps are great. I like the blue and purple. I like the overspray on the cannon tips. And, and it's nice. It's silver. I like that purple. The color scheme is great. Also has this dumb, lame gimmick that if you press this trigger right here, well, guess what? Yeah, fantastic, isn't that? <sighs> you can see the robot's head. So, what a mess. I just wish it pegged better, it tabbed better, the legs weren't obvious. <sighs> Minicon's the coolest thing about this. Another thing about that is that it does pop out. There we go. And it is a tank. I just have to rotate that around. There we go. So it's a little bit of a stretch. It does roll around. <sighs> a bit of a stretch for a tank. Not going to lie. Let's go, and you can already see the guy's face, which is dual colored. Not great paint apps. I don't care too much about the Minicon. There we go. So Cyclonus has this stubby face, dark blue, gold highlights. Yeah. Uh, and also, I'm, I have trouble firing the missile, but apparently the Minicon does connect right here. And I could try as I might, I cannot fire this missile. It's supposed to. <laughs> oh well. Missile fires. It will fire when uh, robot mode. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna keep the minicon like that because I'm gonna need that in robot mode. Transformation is surprise. These are the legs. How about that? Just pull that back up. Put the heel spur down. I like the cannons though. Not gonna lie. I like the color, the overspray of the silver. So there we go. Looking good so far. So you can see those are the legs. Then this big huge piece. Just folds on down, and this piece folds on down too. So yeah, it's kind of automorphs, and I wish it would peg into something. That's what I don't like. But well, before we do the automorph, rotate that 180 degrees. There we go. I like the automorph gimmick. Just wish it to peg into something. All right, so these become the arms. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, there we go. They're bended up on each other, so yeah. And like I said, I wish it would click onto something. Head just pops out. And the rot the gimmick is still the rotating prop gimmick is still good, but it as you can see, very misfortunately placed. Yeah, so it'll work. 
Right. The guy stands up, and I do like the that he tried to put paint apps on the guy's fist, but as far as weaponry, he doesn't have any, and as I mentioned before, if you put the Minicon right in here, it will fire, and I just gotta press it. Ah, dang it, and this Minicon is awful. There we go. <laughs> it fires. Ugh. Very moody, mere, uh, mediocre figure on both, so I'm going to give them 5 out of 5 on the alt mode and the robot mode. The head looks up and down. I, I like the fact that they tried to do a good head sculpt. I like the red, the orange and the green eyes. The head sculpt is pretty good if, if, it, if it was just so horrible. It's... I don't know what they were going for that. It has shoulder, weird shoulder articulation. It has that ratchet joint there. Or sorry, not ratchet. But, Okay, swivel joint there, nothing on the fists, moves up and down, no waist swivel, these weird legs, I hate them. Also, I don't know why, but it does have these little spring-loaded gimmicks, these guns right here. And, yeah, kind of neat, kind of Gundam X-esque, sorry. Yeah, oh man, what an awful figure. I mean, it stands up fine. Okay. Yeah, what a mess. That's what he, how he looks with Megatron. So, slightly bigger than a deluxe class. Transformation for the Minicon, which you can see from the bottom. Yeah. Turret does move, but oh well. Legs fold down. That rotates, and you can move a turret. So that's not a bad looking minicon. In fact, the minicon to me looks better than good old Cyclonus himself. All right, that's what we got here. So you have an idea. Yeah, what the heck is wrong with this thing? Four out of ten for the alt mode. I wish something pegged in there it's so floppy there it goes so yeah it kind of pegs in stands up all right but really and yeah there we go yeah how cool is that four out of ten for that that's all i got youtubers and i catch you all next time